Here is the new RGB WW tube LED light from Nanlite. Hi, I'm Johnny from Cinema 5D and welcome to our virtual show. Today I have with me Luke from uh, Nanlight. How are you, Luke? I'm very well, thank you, Johnny. How are you? I'm always good. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a new era. It's a new way of interviewing. It's a new way to conduct a show. But I tell you the truth, I really, really like it. <laughs> From different reasons. But anyway, um, let's talk about a new light that you're just about to announce. Tell me a little bit about it. So yes, thank you. So the new product we're launching is the PavoTube 26C. Now we've had great success with our PavoTube 15 and 30C, and we've seen them being used in many creative ways. And one of the things we found is, you know, because of this creative exploration, people want to be more explorative in terms of where they place lights. So we thought a smaller, you know, light that has more creativity gives you that option to do so. So the idea of this product is basically to integrate great in your existing kit and you can see it's 25 centimeters long it's it's handheld it has all of the features you'd come to expect from a nang light product you know in terms of the quality so cri 98 tlci 95 so extremely accurate but has a whole range of uh, practical effects and colors and things like that so it's it's a really special product in terms of integrating into the rest of our kit a non-serious question before we continue and dive into the light what was the name again so it's the PavoTube 2 6C, but in terms of how we name it, we just call it the 6C. Who is coming up with those sexy names? <laughs> uh, so I think it's a combination of our, our guys over in head office in China, and because we want it to fall in line with the rest of the family, it's still a PavoTube, but it's the second version of PavoTube, and it's six inches and it's color. So it's trying to sort of embroider all of those features into it so people know what it is. In what scenarios you see a professional person using that light? So for me, I would imagine things like car chases, uh, very intimate shots. So you're talking very tight angles in small confined spaces where you need to bring a little bit more lighting um, and also creativity. So we've got some additional products coming out of this, such as a waterproof bag. You know, if you want to be really creative in terms of creating, you know, a lighting effect coming through water, there isn't another product out there that, that does that. So I think there's a lot of useful ways to use it now, but once it gets into the hands of creatives, I think they'll explore and find many more. You mentioned waterproof. The product itself is waterproof or uh, it's actually uh, splash proof? Uh, so the product itself isn't waterproof, but because of its size, what we have created is a, um, a clear sealable waterproof bag, similar to what you would get with a mobile phone. Now, if you combine that through the radio control, you could place this underwater and control all of its functionality. When you talk about control, um, do, you, do you have an app that goes with it or how do you uh, control it or there, there's, there are any physical controls on the light itself? Yeah, so on the product itself, there is a full control menu system on the back with a digital screen and that will help you switch between the modes and also increase the increments of color. So either going up or going down, a power on button and a USB-C import um, and output, which is, you know, it's very easy to control the product itself in hand. But if you want to use it in a scenario where you're, you know, using it in a scenario underwater, you would use the Wi-Fi controller box um, and that will link with a mobile phone to give you mobile control. And that means out of shot, you can control what's going on with the light. So there is no direct uh, control uh, of the product between the mobile phone and the product itself. Is it right? I heard something about router. Yeah, that is correct. So currently our existing architecture for our products is they ha we have a router and that connects us, a 2.4 router, and it connects with all of our products. And that's how our ecosystem works at the moment. Um, and the reason we did the same with this is we wanted to integrate with the rest of our products as opposed to stand separate from them. So having direct communication from the mobile phone is, is really different from what we currently have. When it comes to powering, because it's a very small portable device, is there a built-in battery or it's, how does it work? 
Yeah, correct. So there's a built-in battery, which will give you an hour runtime at full power. Now, an hour runtime seems like quite, people think, oh, it's not enough power. The idea with this light is it's not a big key light. This is, you know, a practical effects light and, and a kicker and stuff like that. So it's runtime's going to be a little bit less. And also you have to factor in size versus battery capacity. So it has a built-in battery, but what we've also come up with is this guy here. And this is effectively a battery extension pack. So this will take an NFP battery battery as you can see here slides directly into the unit and that will give you an extension of the battery life it also screws directly into the the end of the unit so it's all built into one and it'll even charge your macbook your ipad pro or your macbook or stuff like that because it's USB-C. so if you do need extra power that's the solution there but it does have up to an hour built in how would they connect it to a stand or how would they use it in in a car is there any little feature here that can help with connectivity so at either ends of the product, there is a, a quarter thirds um, input. So basically it will connect to a standard stand at either end, which is great. Uh, we will have a clip system for it. But for me, the most exciting part is the back strip is magnetic. So if you have a metal surface, this will stick to it with no need for anything else. In the, the box that comes with it, we also add these plates. Now you could use gaffer tape, which most good gaffers will have. Gaffer these to a wall and then mount this on it. So there is nowhere that you cannot pot this light. Uh, and I think that's a really exciting prospect because if you wanna create lighting effects on a wall and you just don't have that space, you now have the ability to create that without the, you know, without the space needed. You mentioned that this is more like a um, uh, fill, fill light and so on, not really uh, your main light. How strong is it? So in terms of its output, so I'm just going to give you a ballpark reading. So if we look to uh, 56,000 uh, Kelvin, so daylight balance, we're putting out uh, 169 lux. So it's not a huge output, especially when compared to things like our Forza range. But again, we're not competing to be a key light. This is a product for special effects. Now, I've shot some stuff whilst we're in isolation here in the UK, um, and I've been doing some product photography. Three of these for, for many household products is perfect like so depending on the style of photography it could become you know the, the only light you need in a small confined space but if you're doing bigger productions of course you're probably going to need more power but 169 lux um, at standard one meter for, for 500 uh, 5600 kelvin will you sell this as a single light source or as a kit so we will be doing them singly and they will come like this as a single unit um, and we do have intention to sell them in a multiple kit setup so i would imagine we would probably go for two three and four would be good options um, to be able to do them. and we have a carry case so we have a carry case for up to four of these to be carried in one go how about pricing and availability so at the moment, not confirmed prices. So um, so we will be announcing those soon when we when we launch the product. Um, but in terms of availability, it will be available globally. Um, this is going to be a really important product for us this year. So we've gone the extra effort to make sure we have good stock levels of it going out on a global scale. Now, obviously, the the one bottleneck to that would be the situation with CV19. So, you know, at launch, I we will have them in channel ready to go. Um, but I just think in terms of ongoing, we, we may have to manage people's expectations in terms of logistically getting them to there. But we've put a lot of effort into producing many of these. Last question from my side. You said, um, actually, you didn't say, maybe I imagined. You know, we talked about an extra uh, bag for it, but it was the bag for four kit. Uh, any any extras that will come with the kit, with the, sorry, with the light? Yeah, of course. So in terms of how it comes, so this is the, the unit itself in the box. It will come with a, a carry case to protect it in transit. Now this will fit in most rucksacks. I run with a Lowepro AW350, two bodies, two lenses. I can fit two of these in it. Um, also a Pele 1510, I can fit three of these as well as my bodies and lenses inside them. So I've been testing to see how much light I can take with me. One of these and a Forza 60, there's a lot you can do and it will fit in most places. But if you don't have a case, this will protect it. Also comes with a USB-C to USB-A um, for charging and also for connecting to battery packs as such. You get a hand strap, which you can use to, to obviously hang on surfaces and just protect it whilst in hand. And then the last little thing is just these simple metal plates. And like I said earlier, these will allow you to use the magnetic strip on things like concrete and plastic and stuff that isn't uh, magnetic. Thank you, Luke. I think it's a nice overview of the new product. Anything else you want to add before we say thank you and goodbye? 
Uh, just want to thank you for inviting us on. I think, like yourself, uh, this is a, a challenging time for us all. And I think the technology we have at our hands is really making this style of kind of communicating with our audience very exciting. So thank you for having us. Um, we hope people are excited about this. And yeah, we, we look forward to, to, to what the future has in hold for us all. Look, thank you very much. And guys, thank you very much for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.